Hey guys, so today I'm going to be budgeting my next paycheck. This is going to be the first paycheck for the month of March. Um, I get paid bi-weekly and I also get paid on Wednesdays. So my next check is going to be March 8th. Um, I usually like to budget a couple days before I get paid. So today is Sunday the 5th. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, now for this check, it might be a little bit lower than my last check. I wasn't really feeling that well last week. Um, and because of that, I did take off one day and then another day I left early. Um, so I'm not really sure how this paycheck is going to be, but I'm still going to budget for about 1200 um, we can always adjust it once I do see how much I got paid. I can go ahead and fill out the column to the right and um, adjust the numbers if I need to. So for now, I'm just going to be writing 1200 for my budget. Um, so for my bills, I do have to pay my parents' cell phone. Um, I know I have... Um, I take out half of my car note payment um, in each check, so I do one fifty each month. Um, I am going to put gas in this section just because it is very important to me. I do drive to work, um, so it's really important that I get there. I do have the PSEG bill, and also I'm going to get charged for my gym soon. Some of these are on auto pay, but I still have to pay myself back. So that's why they are going to be in my budgeting sheet. Um, now for my expenses, um, we're looking at groceries. Sorry, I'm just going to shut the door so you guys don't hear my dog. Um, Costco. And I'm still doing that meal service. Um, coffee because I need my caffeine um, and also my Europe trip I'm putting it in this section um, just because I know it's not technically an expense it's probably more of like um, savings but I do have to buy my flight soon so I am gonna make sure it's in this section just because it is pretty important to me it's not really a savings then we're going to put beauty and restaurants. Um, now for the savings, um, these are like more long-term sinking funds. Emergency funds. And down payment for house. Um, clothes, car maintenance, gas, and moving expenses. Um, and then on the extra, the reason I don't have anything actually for debt. This is just going to be more long-term sinking funds. Um, the reason I don't have my car note in this section for debt is because my car's actually already paid off. I'm just paying back my uncle, but there's no actual interest on it because it has been paid off. So if you're familiar with um, the Ramsey like kind of budgeting system, um, he does suggest that you pay off your debt first because you are paying so much in, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. You're paying so much in interest that you're going to end up paying so much more than you originally paid. So if you have, I think it's called the snowball method where you start with like the smaller, um, debts and you finish paying them off before you go on to the next bill and the next one until you're finished with your biggest one. It's, I did this last year where I paid off all my debt. So I'm actually really thankful that I don't have to worry about that. Um, so this section is just going to be kind of like more of my long-term sinking funds. So medical, 
Um, I am going to have a one for personal. And I am going to be starting a new envelope where I'm going to be try I'm going to try to get one month ahead on my bills. So I've seen a lot of people who have budgeted and were able to just kind of be one month ahead on their finances and I think that's really awesome. So I do want to try and start that my mom's envelope and just a miscellaneous one. Okay. So starting with my parents' cell phone, it is going to be 115 and my car note is 150. It's 300 for the for the month. Gas um I spend about $40 every 10 days. But just to make sure I have enough for the two weeks, I'm going to go ahead and do 80. Um, PSEG is about 140. Sometimes this can change depending on how much we use the lights in the house. Um, so it does vary, but usually it's about around 140. For the gym, I did freeze my account just because I know I'm not going to have time to go to the gym this month. So um, I did freeze the account. So instead of charging me $40, $40 for the month, they're going to charge me 10 so these are what the bills are so 115 plus 150 plus 80 140 and 10 so 495 and we're gonna go into groceries next um last month or my sorry my last check i did 120 but i think i'm just gonna do 100 this one because I didn't spend 120 um so I'm gonna go down a little bit to 100 um Costco is not gonna get anything I don't think we need anything at the moment for the meal services it's gonna get the usual 80 coffee I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit I didn't have as much coffee this week so I'm gonna try to just be careful with that um for Europe I need to at least pay 100 um, like I said, I do have some flights that I need to purchase soon, so that's going to get 100 For beauty, we're going to do 70 For restaurants, we're going to do 30 I don't really have um, a lot of plans the next two weeks, so this should be enough. So let's add this up. 100, 80, 20, 100. 70 and 30 so that is 400 wait let me see yeah 400 okay um then i'm gonna go on to this section savings so for fun we're gonna do 50 let me see Let me just see what we're working with. Okay, so I have 305 to fill out this and this. Um, so for fun, let's do 55. And for emergency fund, I am gonna put a hundred, yeah. Because um, this is also really important um, that I really want to contribute to my emergency funds um for my down payment on the house again this is more of a long-term uh sinking funds so i'm just gonna put 30 for now for clothes we're gonna do 30 i'll probably need some clothes for the spring coming up um car payments is only gonna get five for gifts let me see Okay, so for gifts, we're going to do 20. And moving expenses is going to get 25. So let me add this up. So this is 265 altogether. So we're going to minus 495, minus the 400, and minus the 265. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, 
Okay, so I have about $40 left. So for medical, we're going to do 10 for my personal. We can do five. Um, for the one month ahead, we can do 10. For my mom's, we're just going to do 10 this paycheck um, just because um, I still have to pay off so many from her last uh, transactions on my credit card. Um, so 10, 20, 30, 5. So we'll do 5 in miscellaneous. So this should be 40. Yep. 40. Okay, perfect. So income is going to be 1200 For bills, that's going to be 495 for expenses, 400 and for savings is 265 and for debt it is 40 Let me just add this up and make sure. Sometimes I have to double check. Oh, I did it wrong. 495 plus 400 plus 265 plus 40 1200 okay perfect so yeah so this is the budgeting for my next check so i will be back on my next video once i have to do some unstuffing for the following week before i get paid thank you so much for watching